there and welcome to this um, video from 12minuteguides.com my name is Richard Butler and today I'm going to be talking about slide layouts in Microsoft PowerPoint 2007 when you start a new PowerPoint presentation you're always shown a title slide now this slide is used for before you begin your presentation this will be the actual first slide I'll be showing on the projector so I'm going to call this PowerPoint 2007. My subtitle I usually put my name and my web address. So when I'm running my presentation, while people are coming into the seminar or into the class, this is what they will see up here. Now a title slide has um, the main text in the center of the slide, as in um, vertically and more or less horizontally in the center, and then it has a subtitle area. So that's not going to be good for me if I want to use bullet points. So I go into a new slide, and the second slide I get is a title and content. So this one has a title, topics for today, and then I click to add text, and I can put in bullet points. So slide layers and remember with PowerPoint you're always putting in bullet points changing layers. Now supposing I now want to put in um, a picture with a caption maybe a title and content wouldn't be the best slide so if I go make sure I'm in home I click on the down arrow beside new slide and I say I want to put in a picture and caption so I click on this uh, picture with caption slide layer and now what I can do is I can just click on insert picture from file I find a picture here that I've taken and I click on insert and then I can click to add a title so picture of car in mountain and you'll see down here it says click to add text and now I can click in some, uh, some text um, that might describe it so I'm just typing in there it's very small but take it in 2000 and eight in northern Spain. Now, if I just zoom up here using my zoom controls that I find at the bottom screen, you can see that I've now put that text in there with the actual picture. So this just makes my PowerPoint presentation um, a little bit more interesting. Rather than trying to put a picture in here, which is using a title content slide. It's not going to be as easy because I'm going to have bullet points and I'm not going to be layout to be able to lay it out as easily. So I used an actual layout that had a picture and a caption. And I got that from clicking on the down arrow beside new slide and choosing one of these actual layouts. Now, supposing I open up a presentation, and I'm going to open one here, and I'm told that slide one must be changed to a title layout slide. At the moment it's not. What I simply do is click on slide one, I go to layout, and I change this to a title slide. And now what that will do is, for example, it will just lay it out as a title slide. Now supposing I want to change this to a content slide. Click on slide one, I go to layout, the title and content and watch the way the slide changes okay I now have the title up here and I have bullet points so at any time in my presentation I can change the layout of a slide by clicking on the layout button and just clicking on a different layout for example to content now you see I have the title I have one column of content and I can add another column of content here if I want to bring this back to a title slide layout, I click on layout and go to title slide. Now, if I ever want to find out what layout a slide has, I click on the slide, I go to layout, and I see this one has title only. Well, that's, that's not the best layout for this type of slide, because if you look at it, it actually wants to have bullet points as well. So the best layout here would be to actually take a title and content layout. So I click on this, and it changes for me. It just moved those bullet points in a little bit for me. 
If I go down here and I look at layout, I see this is a title and chart. If I wanted to change this to a different type, I might say title only. Okay. You'll actually see that the chart has moved slightly, but it means I can't readily type in text here. Okay, if I want to change this again, I might change it back to title and chart, or I might choose blank slide. Okay, see the way the text has actually moved here. So every time I change a layout, the text may actually move a little bit. This has just got centered up here, the title. So to recap, Every single PowerPoint presentation can have different layouts, and you should use the, 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 the correct layout for the, for the correct type of slide. For example, on slide 2, I'm not going to use a title layout, because that doesn't look right. Okay, The, the bullet points are all centered, they should really be up at the top part of the actual presentation. So again, I just click on layout, and I choose title of content, and that goes into a better layout. In my next video, I'll be talking about master slides, which is something that confuses a lot of people in PowerPoint. You've been listening to Richard Butler from 12minuteguides.com.